Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today me and my family are going to go and see the Peppa Pig Best Day Ever. This is what we're going to see uh, on the passes on tour. So it's I'm going to a lot of different places and um, this is back all the different places. I'll probably link down below all the places that it's going to. So if you want to go, you can. Um, but yeah, this is what we're going to see. Um, so it starts at four o'clock. Um, it says to get there by half three. We are sat in the grand tier, which is the very top tier. And we're sat on the very back row. And we paid £13 each for our tickets. Um, I think from the looks of it, it's pretty empty up there. So I think we will maybe be able to move forward some, some rows. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, unfortunately today is the day that Storm, I think it's Eunice, is batter in the UK. So it was we'll to see if we even get there. Usually we get the tram. Um, but obviously it might not be running in these winds, we've got to see if there's no tram we're going to have to try and get a bus so fingers crossed we get there on time, we're going to leave early, we're going to leave at half two, it doesn't start till four so that should give us plenty of time to get there. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be able to film once we're in there, I'm not sure if they're going to have any merchandise or anything but if you do I'll film that, I'll show you what our seats are like, what our view is from the seats and then I'll let you know what we thought about it when we get back as well and if you are allowed to take any pictures or anything when we're there then I will but I'm thinking you're probably not allowed to. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. in Manchester city centre. It's not too bad, the wind's not too bad, it's not raining so we should make it plenty of time as well. It's only about 10 past and yeah we can't go until half past so yeah we'll have, we'll have plenty of time. It doesn't start till four so Alice is just walking with Daddy because she didn't want to be in the pram because it's not raining now so she might as well walk. So yeah, we'll get back to now once we're at the theatre. There we are so we're just walking up to the theatre now We're sat right at the very back row of the Grand Tier, and I like it here because you can put all your coats and things down the back. And then this is your view. Um, I don't think it's too bad because we're right up here. I like sitting up here with the kids because you don't have to keep going up and down the stairs, just find it easier. But yeah, I think the view should be pretty good from here. The kids have both got a spinny, Alice has got a spinny pepper. That was £11 and Leo's got a spinny George and they were £11 so yeah, should be good shouldn't it? So we, if you want to know we are row P and our seat numbers are 14, 15, 16 and 17. So Pepper's going to start in about two minutes, Alice and Leo excited, Daddy excited, Daddy excited. <gasps> One minute!
interval. What did you think, Alice? Was Pepper good? Uh -huh. Did you like Pepper? Uh -huh. Who did you see? Did you see Pepper? And she saw George and Miss Rabbit. No. We did. And we no. saw Mr. Bull. And we saw Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Gerald Giraffe. So she's had a great time. Leo is loving it. Oh, she wants to get home. She's tired. But Leo is really, really enjoy enjoying it. He's loving it. He sat there dancing away in his seat, having a great time. So, yeah. Second half should be good. And this is dragon in the second half. So Leo's going to love that. You're a bit tired, aren't you? Oh. I've got a cowboy all of them, yeah? First of all, Leo's just letting off some steam. We're in about. <laughs> Come back, you! Now we've got to try and get this one back in his seat. He wants to play now. He keeps doing this, going behind this chair. Where's Leo? There he is. You cheeky. Oh, little mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just waiting for Papa to come back on. Running quite late. It's supposed to finish at quarter past five, and it's it's like five past five now. In the second half, as the evening started, so yeah, I think it's gonna finish late today. I'm going to go and get some lunch, dinner. Yeah. to McDonald's now after the show to get some food because we're really hungry. Um, we usually have dinner at five, I think it's nearly six now. And we managed to get swindled out of a balloon coming out. They had all balloons in the foyer. And of course Leo saw the balloon and he's desperate for a balloon, he loves balloons. So we ended up getting the balloon because he would not get any proud so he got this balloon. So he got a balloon at six pounds. So we could only get one. So he's not paying twelve pounds for two balloons. So we got one balloon to share between them. Because they already got them glow stick things. And they were eleven pound each, so So yeah. But the show was really good, they both enjoyed it. Both got a bit tired towards the end. I think because we're getting hungry. Um, so yeah, we're gonna enjoy this food and then we're gonna take care of it. There we go, got our food. We just went to McDonald's because it's the quickest and easiest thing to get and they were both very hungry. So I'm just gonna eat this and then we're gonna head home.
Hi, so we are now back from the theatre. Well, been back for a while, got the kids to bed. Leo actually fell asleep on the tram on the way home. Alice fell asleep pretty much once she, as soon as she went to bed, so she was quite tired. I think we ended up getting back around half seven. Um, but yeah, it was a really good show. The kids actually really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure um, how Leo would find it but he was he loved it bless him he absolutely loved it he was dancing away and yeah i think the problem was once they had the interval he was running around and then he didn't want to sit back down for the second part he wanted to stand up and um but once it started properly he did sort of stay still and watch it um but yeah they really enjoyed it i think alice was getting a bit tired towards the end she did ask if she could if we were going home yet but I think they did really really enjoy it so what it was sort of based on a couple of the episodes and um, it had the one where they go to the caves it was based on that one the one where they go to the castle it was based on that one and I'm trying to think what the other episodes were can't quite remember but there was a bit where Mr Bull was digging up the road and yeah, but so it was, it was based on like a few of the episodes. And then obviously there was some singing, they did the bing bong song, splashing in muddy puddle song, um, adventurous song where they sit and do north, south, east, west and make the kids do the actions. And yeah, they just really enjoyed it. Also, as we were traveling by public transport there, we did have to take our pram. And we do have a big double pram. Um, but it was no problem because when you get there, you put your pram down, you give it to a member of staff in the foyer, there's people there waiting to take your pram, they give you a little ticket and then at the end you give them back your ticket and they give you your pram back. I do have to say at the end it was a little bit chaotic, there was lots and lots of people in the foyer waiting for the pram, there was no proper queue system, people were just jumping in and giving the tickets, the, the staff bless them were doing the best but there was just a lot of people in the foyer people coming out as well people trying to buy balloons trying to buy merchandise and yeah it was very very squashed in there trying to get your prams back but they do you take your pram off you and um store it for you like that so if you're worried about taking a pram you can definitely take a pram at least to the opera house i don't know about the other theatres that um are going to be hosting it um, I probably expect them to do the same if they're ATG theatres, they usually have the same process. I think what they did was use one of the bars to store the prams and then also a storage room downstairs as well because there was a lot of people with prams at this one. Um, so yeah, if you're worried about prams, they do take it off you and store it for you. There was merch at this um, show, obviously we've been Peppa Pig and we did end up buying some stuff. Um, they had things like t-shirts, they had storybooks, activity books, um, what else? They have plushes, like soft toys, um, and I think that was it. And these light up things which uh, we ended up buying, these things. These were £11 each, but Leo loved this. Um, it's really good for Leo, like the sensory thing. So he really liked that with the little George. I've got that one for Leo and we've got this one for Alice. So they did enjoy playing with these while we were there. Alice had a big smile on her face when we bought her this. And then on the way out, very good marketing we did. They had these in the foyer on the way out. So while we were stood there waiting for the pram for ages, they're like, can we have a balloon? Can we have a balloon? So, and they were spending £6 on this balloon. I wasn't going to get one when I found out how much the prices were. But Leo would not get back in his pram. He kept going up to the lady and trying to take the balloon off her. So in the end I thought, oh, you know what, if he's going to get in his pram, I'll just get the balloon. So we got the balloon and he got straight in his pram as soon as we got the balloon. So, yeah, I got that. But my kids absolutely love balloons. They will play with this for ages for as long as it's up. So, yeah, it probably probably isn't too bad to get that so yeah like I said these were 11 pounds oh 11 pounds each and the balloon was six pounds so so the merchandise altogether cost us 28 pounds um but we did only pay 13 pounds each for our tickets um like I say I don't mind sitting at the very back of the back tier to me you have a good view um 
and that view was very very good we did only miss one bit there's a bit where there's a castle and they have little puppets on top of the castle of the of the characters and because the castle's quite high up we couldn't actually see the characters um but didn't you didn't really miss much it didn't really matter that you couldn't see them um and yeah so i was quite pleased with where we sat i do like sitting there because at the back there's a space where you can put your bag and coats also there's like a little banister behind us and that's we put our drinks and our sweets on there like we've got a little table um so that's why i like sitting there when we go with the kids it's just got you've got that extra space um so that's why i like sitting at the back we could have moved forward and lawrence did want to move forward but our view was really good i didn't see the point and we had that extra space that we could use so i was quite happy to just sit where we were but yeah it was really good i definitely do recommend it if you got young children but it's about the right length um i don't i think if it was any longer my kids would have um got a bit bored and wanted to wander off like i said alice was ready to go home by the end um it did start a bit late it was supposed to start at four i think by the time it started it was almost quarter past four so when t by the time the second act started i think it was ten past five i think it should have been due to finish around half five so it definitely was late but it did seem to it didn't seem to last very long it seemed to be very quickly over for me um but yeah i found it enjoyable i thought it was good i just loved leo leo just really enjoyed it he was really getting into the first half and yeah i just had a good time the kids had a good time i think for 13 pounds it was definitely a good day out um it was a shame there was such the storm wasn't actually that bad it didn't really make much difference to our journey our trams were still running the wind didn't see, actually seem that bad while we were out so we were lucky and then in some places it's been quite bad but we were we were fine oh also i did film a few clips i'm not sure if you're supposed to film um but a lot of people seem to be filming bits and the person that was up on the top tier watching was stood next to someone who was filming and he didn't say anything so I thought well if they're all filming he's not saying anything maybe you are allowed to film so I just filmed a few little little clips and I've, I'll put, I think I've put them in the vlog and um, whether he was supposed to I'm not sure but he wasn't saying anything to people who were stood right next to that were doing it so I thought well if they're doing it and he's not saying anything then I'll just do a few little little clips so I'll put those in so yeah i definitely recommend pepper pig's best day ever um the kids really enjoyed it i actually enjoyed it i think lauren secretly enjoyed it as well and it was just a fun day out with the kids didn't it cost us too much 13 pound each isn't too bad we did get the cheapest tickets i'm not sure how much the most expensive tickets were i think the next ticket down from the 13 pound was 20 pounds um so the yeah so they definitely had some of those in the stalls um so yeah it's not too bad of a price and like i said it wasn't too long for the little ones it's probably just about the right length for their attention span for my kids anyway i know some kids can sit for ages and watch things my kids can't sit for too long so it's just the right length for them so yeah i definitely recommend it if you've got little ones like i said my children are two and four and both of them enjoyed it but um quite a lot and there was some older kids there that seemed to really enjoy it as well they looked like they're singing along and yeah it's just a fun day so i definitely recommend it if you've got little ones but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe i hope to see you again soon bye